Age gaps are something that's a bit strange on the internet. There's a lot of content revolving around it. 2 a.m., 5 a.m., middle of the afternoon, before dinner, after dinner. Yeah, oh, that's really creepy. And I'm sure you've seen some, negative or positive. It gets weird real easy. This is the where this one's really bad. The show is called Age Gap Relationships Love Don't Judge. It has 8.5 million views and the comments are awesome. We're learning today that love has no limits and this is not suspicious whatsoever. So this we need to look is 26 to year old model Sarah. Model Sarah. Who oh. she fell in love with. No wait, don't, don't say it. Mason. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, we have two choices here yet again. A, B, child, old man. It's an old man that looks like a child. So it's like a, a kind of a mix. A 54-year-old retired child star turned entrepreneur. I don't see myself as being in her league. I don't, I mean, not to be mean, but, you know. A look is worth a thousand words. I can't, I don't really want to talk too much, but. A lot of people have come out and, you know, like, really? You're with that dude? True, I mean, I like, yeah, that makes sense. Why? Now it's getting serious. This is heartwarming because it's like a, you know, uh, I was gonna say, this is really insensitive. I don't mean to be insensitive or mean. They just look, they look like a happy couple, like legitimately. It's just funny, you know? It's just funny. I was gonna say it's like a Beauty and the Beast type scenario, but I, I didn't mean that in like a rude way, you know, commenting on his, his appearance. I was saying it in like a, you know, like a beautiful woman with a just guy with, masculine virtues, right? Like a, a heroic character, irrelevant from physical traits. I, th I think I, I think I backed my way out of it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Hey, who's this guy? Who are these people? Wait, who the f was that? Did I miss something? Hold on, who was that? So who's this guy, Tommy Wiseau? He looks jealous a little bit. By the time this airs, I'll be 54. She's 26, the other guy's 55, that's 20. No. That's 20 years, bro. No. 25, no. What the fuck? Am I dumb? That's 30 years. That's almost a 30 year gap. I can't do math very well. You look well, very pretty. You look very adorable. Thank you. Let's see, uh, let's see. Um, Mason Reese, girlfriend. They're still together, dude. That is sick. Honestly, I think he's out of her league at this point. 54-year-old former child star says his 26-year-old sugar baby can't keep up with him in bed. Okay, so sugar baby. Well, then that makes sense. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't want to bring it up. You know, the funny thing is, I like this, this is the first relationship of my life with a massive age discrepancy. The last time I oh. dated someone 26 is probably when I was 28. Right, true. I like older men because they're more mature. I just love the way they look. Like, I actually like gray hair and bald guys. I got a real question, you guys. I, 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 I haven't had the balls to look this up. It involves balls. Does, you know, when they get old, do they get, do they get wise down there? Like when I use FaceApp, let's say. Let's say if I were to use FaceApp right now and I were to turn myself old, if I was, you know, if I was naked, would... Let's say, hypothetically. I face up my ball set. Would it work on, you know, they do? Somebody look it up for me. When she expressed interest in actually being in a relationship with me. He said, humana, humana. I think I was as shocked as anybody. Dude, I mean, he's so aware, bro. He's so, f <laughs> he's so aware and he is a, he, like, it makes sense, right? It makes, it makes perfect sense that he wouldn't, if he didn't, he's not like Big Ed. <laughs> Basically, this is like perfect big Ed yin and yang. This guy's way nicer. Vine boom, vine boom, vine boom, various vine boom. What the fuck? Stop posting these, you fuckers. But then the career with most young actors, you know, kind of fizzled out for a while. Retired from that a couple of years ago and have kind of been living the life of leisure really ever since. Huh. I do adult modeling, webcam modeling. The opposite of a child actor. Hey guys. You know? That's what they say. What are you up to tonight? <laughs> <laughs> they, gave, they did a little reenactment. They did a little fucking reenactment. <laughs> it's not just like a sexual thing. I like to actually talk to people. I like to get to know people, ask them where they're from. I feel from, like I can't shred this. We just start talking about whatever. I feel like you can just see her breasts right there. I mean, nothing. Let me delete the VOD. Real Sarah is not the one that's doing all the outrageous, outlandish, uh, you know, fun things that she does. What does she do? I he doesn't even have that much money. I 20 guys who 
who will give me an allowance, you know? So I don't need to be with him for his money. That's the fucking weirdest humble brag I've ever heard in my adult life, all right? <laughs> Getting paid $300 to go to dinner is pretty decent, but I just, ever since I started talking to Mason, I just decided that I didn't want that anymore. I just feel like I'm happy to be in a relationship with him. Why? Why though? Sarah's never asked me for a penny. Never. Interesting. Today is a big Love day the for the couple. Sarah is introducing Mason to one of her oldest friends. Dude, the scooter, can he just not walk? Is that, is that what the problem is? I see him walking around, he's got a cane. I assume he's, he has some kind of disability or whatever. I don't know, I'm not judging. I just like the scooter things is kind of funny to me. I've had a couple of accidents in my oh. life and He's literally, I find that as I'm getting a little bit older, I'm developing a little bit of arthritic that. pain. So well, it fair. really is a matter of convenience for us because it's fun and it saves a lot on cabs. He goes in for the ass grab and then the kiss. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, man. He should have trumped him. Pulled him in. Pulled him in. Just. That's right. Good to meet you. And then blown his sausage breath in his ear. She sent me a PM on Facebook saying, "Are you still planning on coming?" But by the way, Victor, I swear to you, I, w I like it totally didn't even occur to me. He's in disbelief. That this beautiful, young, you know, exotic, gorgeous creature mm -hmm. could ever fall for a guy like me. Yeah, I mean, he's blasphemed by this. He's oh, like, yeah. how, bro? How is that even possible? I mean, I also, I also, I'm also wondering how, too. He looks like a really nice guy. They do actually look like they may be in love, like, to be real. And it's nice to, you know, to be able to talk to somebody who has also known Sarah for basically a fourth of her life. That's her uncle? It's been really a lot of fun. Is that her uncle? I'm still so confused. I didn't even listen at all. Is that guy her uncle or a fellow adult actor? You know? And then the, the her, her boyfriend... I just almost said so many things right then. I like, I am really shouldn't be talking about, I shouldn't be speaking. Obviously, uh, that's we're lovers, but at the majestic. same time, I think that we're also good friends. Like, I'm really like happy to be with Mason, so. I'm happy to be with her. Damn, this is uplifting. What a nice ending. What's this? The age difference be? is 30 years between us, exactly. But wow. we seem to love everything. War never changes. See, this one looks more normal. This is just your standard cradle robber. Are you gonna call He's drawing a dick? No, okay. Mm, that's the strap. Right, what's the next one? I'm not really that interested in this one. This one's the longest. F oh my god. Later, I had a positive test. What? What? Oh my. Hold on. Stream love. Mm. I think a lot of people don't understand that age gap relationships can be genuine. I love you. Right. The majority seem to assume that there's got to be something else going on. Money. You love somebody because you love them. That's true, I guess. Right. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It just makes me really uncomfortable. Whenever I see a young girl, a young, attractive woman with a lot of life left, it just doesn't make any sense why you would want to sacrifice the longevity. I, I guess it's the same thing as when you just adopt like an old dog though. Well, it's not the same at all because it's your pet. It's like unconditional love versus like there's there's acts of service that need to be done when you have a, when you're cho choosing a significant other. There's, there's literally no comparison whatsoever. You're getting something old and then you're, you're, you're loving it, and then it just dies, you know, it dies. Ugh! I need my chair troll! I'm Stephanie Wolper, and I'm 24. <laughs> and I'm That's Stephanie Wolper, weird. and I'm- 69 years old, 24 years old. When he was 60, she was, she was, just nine years ago. He looked the same nine years ago. She looked like a child. Hold the door for you. I oh, hold the door for you. She's my girlfriend. We've been together for just over four years, married since August, and there's 45 years between us. 45 good years, yeah. Were they good years? I don't know. Oh, fuck there. yeah, they were. Every five years, I get a new tw I get a new 20 year old girlfriend. Every five years, I get a new 20 year old girlfriend. I love. Young girls. I settled on a job at a pub, hey, and I met you. Stephanie uh, appeared one day when I was there. Like most I'm of the guys, sure. probably. Oh, sixty years, years old. Hmm. Mm. So we started getting curious. The balls on this guy, though, for real. He's he's a sigma male. He, I mean, he has. 
What? You know, age gaps are hot as fuck. I see that feather fall. That's a weird, that's a fucking, that's specific, that's suspicious in that chat right there. That's suspicious. <laughs> they met in the assisted living. We were on the dance floor. We were on the dance floor. Like we were They're everywhere. Canadian, so it's we kind of cringe listening to him talk. Thirty in the morning, and then uh, he stayed the night at my house. Then we got in a cab and went to her house. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. Yeah, Ryan Hughesby. So the f was I when I just heard exactly what they just said. That's how they met. That's some horny shit. I personally don't have a problem with it, but I, I do see people giving them looks. I don't have a problem with it either, by the way, just, just to be clear. I think it's weird as fucking shit, and it is what it is. I really don't care. I'm not going to ever think about this ever again, for clarity's sake. I'm not ever, I, I don't care about this, even a small amount. She's got another eight years, and he's going to get Alzheimer's and have to change his fucking diapers. For me, it's the sex. Oh, yeah? It's been crazy, crazy. Oh, that's really creepy. Oh, that's the reason why? 2 a.m., 5 a.m., middle of the afternoon, before dinner, after dinner. She's trying to fucking kill him. On the rooftop. On the rooftop. Yeah. On the balcony. What? On the floor, wherever, right? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm no longer, uh, yeah, it's weird as fuck now. Yeah, it's really strange. Um. <laughs> it doesn't last two seconds. He knows what he's doing. It's always different. We've done a lot of different stuff. Oh, yeah? Oh my god, ew. That one's cute. These two are my favorite. Oh, and he's not poor! <laughs> you guys are all wrong. He's not rich. Unless that's her house, I don't know. He proposed to me. We tried for a baby. Three weeks later, I had a positive test. And there's Lachlan pulling my hair out. Now in 2019, he just turned one at the end of January. Yeah, that's mommy's baby. Looks just like his father. I mean, they look happy, yeah. guys. They look happy. Yeah, I know. Like, this, that's all I can see oh, now is I'm just like, damn, they look so happy. This looks like an idealistic yeah. type relationship. We were laying in bed one day just in the middle of that. Cute kid, honestly. Talking. Dawn tells me this story. And then I was like, wait, what's his name? And he repeats it. I was like, oh my God, like, I know him. You're so-and-so's dad. Like, I went to school with this kid. She knew my son before she knew me, <laughs> which is a little Dude, strange. What a baller. Not really. <laughs> That's so weird, dude. That's such a weird thought. Oh my god, dude. I would I oh if that was me and that was my dad, oh my god, I'd be like, dad, what the fuck is wrong with you, you fucking weirdo? Oh, that's so weird. I hate this. You guys look so much alike. So I was like, how do I not catch on to that? I don't know. But I wonder if she what, what is this? What, is, what does he say? <laughs> what does he say in uh, Step Brothers? He's like, you had a taste of the... <laughs> come, come get a taste of the young stud or whatever. I forget what it says. I've had the old bull. Now I want the young calf. I'm not worried about being around later. I mean, obviously would like to, <laughs> but uh, you know, mother nature plays a role in it and I'm just gonna what? take it as far as I can. After that, I guess he can push me around in my wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like your, your son's gonna have a happy, stable, healthy life. It's a good outlook. I like it. Make him as smart as we can. He might support us financially, who knows? He's making an investment. That's his line of thinking. I've never worried about my age ever. I mean, no. it's just a number. I, I thought just... you were 50 when I met it's you. It's just a number. I'm 69. I can do anything a 20 year old can do, you know? Run 10 miles right now. Run 10 miles right now without having a heart attack. Do 50 jumping jacks. And then eat only McDonald's for two and a half months. I do that a lot. You would die if you did that. Okay? Fall. Fall over. And then see what happens. I just get back up. You have to go to the hospital. Get fucking intubated. As long as the mind is active, the body will keep following it. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Vice versa. That was weird. Very strange. What about this one? I'm not even sure I want to watch this one. Who cares? Deal with that. Sorry. Are we getting some LGBT? My name is um, Julia Zell. I'm 24. I was born in Sao Paulo, Brazil, but I live in London. And I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Let's see how she's doing on YouTube. Let's see how she's doing. Julia. Okay. They're still together. Well, that's just sweet as hell, dude. Have a very, very lovely day. <laughs> when 24 year old Julia. Anyways, that was truly a roller coaster for me. I'm going to need some time to recover. But unfortunately, the next video is just is worse. Dark, dark humor TikToks. Bad. Not good. Thank you so much. Whoa.